Hi, uh, in this video I will show you how to make a Windows form responsive. Like see this form responsive for any screen. The minimum size of this uh, Windows form is uh, 800 uh, by 600. But if you maximize this, it will adjust any screen size. So let's go on learn how to do this thank you first create a form and go to form size I will take a minimum size as 800 by 600 This is max minimum size, not maximum. Minimum size. Okay. So this form size is now six eight hundred by six hundred. Okay. So now I'm going to design this a uh, uh, simple. Uh, Building uh, interface, uh, the screen. Okay. The invoice number or bill number. Bill number. Customer name date and product name price of the product. TY quantity and uh, amount okay mm. take grid view okay Total one more label for total quantity. Text okay. Now I'm taking the control text boxes. Remember customer name, product name, price. Quantity and amount. Okay, now 
This is a, a normal building page. When you take it off, some text boxes needed. One more here, and one more here, and need some buttons. One button here for uh, add products, one button here for remove products, and one button here for save the bill or invoice. Okay, I'll change the text for this button. So one more thing, uh, when we created this form, when we move to the client or any other uh, screen, the screen size will be different and uh, when we give property to windows form, uh, default location and windows start, okay, first uh, like uh, look at this, windows status, state is equal to normal if I run this program it will be like this when you maximize it the controls don't move don't uh, change their position if, if I full, full screen this window see the controls don't move it will uh, stay where they are so if I make this windows form maximize it also the same thing they don't move so it is not a responsive form so I will make it a responsive using the tool the property anchor so okay before that I add some fields in this get data grid view First one is cell uh, number. Right. The next one is product name. Okay, close the other fields. We go to add this grid view, and one more thing fill 
this will fill the grid view whatever the size of the form okay right now I'm using the anchor tag to make this form uh, responsive let's start with this date time picker if you see when I start this uh, run this application the date time is here in the center of the form but when I change the anchor property of this control I'll make it uh, right and I'll save changes when I run the program it will go to the it will change the portion of this original when I minimize it and when I drag it will automatically take the position okay we will do the same thing with the other controls okay the buttons let's do the grid view anchor tag yes. let's check it will work I think yes the grid view is responsive now see this Okay, the same thing with this table anchor tag and okay and with this the button this grid view this button so we will increase okay property anchor can I change this one also bottom right all run okay let's see the button is okay these two controls need to sorry. these two Yes, the book. Let's see now if I these two buttons remaining, make these two also a little bit bigger. And make them change the anchor property. Okay. Okay. Remove this bottom as they are stitching. Right. This responsive page we have done. Let's see. If we want to move this also you see we are moving but uh, so looking good It will stretch again if uh, I give this. Uh, see, it's not looking good. So it's okay, I think. So I need to this one. Let's 
save okay. this is responsive a uh, cross resolution page if you want to make some more beautification I'll take panel change the I use the dock property for this panel mm, otherwise I can use this uh, like this ok now I will change the background of this panel color background color and uh, apply this Okay, I'll take one more panel. If you want, you can give the panel out border change the background color for this also style background color mm. it's okay I think this is So I need to change this panel property also. I make save. Yes, this looks like good now. I will change the background color of the farm also. Background color. Uh, I will take. Okay, I think there was okay. I'll take one more panel at the bottom. to decrease the button size I think yes same thing change the background color I will take this same color and
something like this uh, right just run the program you see okay the, not this one this one okay this one is perfect let's check responsive the minimum size is 800 and 600 in this page you uh, the the controls are moving but they are not changing the size like width height any button uh, uh, text boxes so using another tool we will make responsive controls also this is only responsive page we will make responsive controls also so okay thank you for watching